Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look in a kit, a little bit different to my usual. We're going to look at a car kit, and today we're going to look at Ravel's Jeep Wrangler Rubicon in 25th scale. So as I just mentioned, today we're going to look inside the box of the Jeep Wrangler, um, the Rubicon version. I think it's the CK Jeep from Ravel and it's in 25th scale. Um, not open it yet, still sealed. The rumor is that it comes with decals for Baywatch, the, you know, the iconic for back from the early 90s, the Pam Ranson time period, not the, the new movie and stuff, but around the early 90s, um, the, you know, iconic, yeah, remember the yellow Jeep with the lifeguard logos and stuff. So apparently it has the decals inside. Um, I'm assuming it's not mentioned anywhere on the box, you know, for copyright and trademark reasons and that kind of stuff, but I'm interested to see. So um, this is, I don't know how the kit number at all. Uh, yeah, eight five dash four five zero one. It's a level four. If that means anything. Uh, some colours. You can pause it. You can look at it. It's um, six inches long. Six point two five inches long. Ninety two parts. And a few pictures. Now I bought this from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the price on here is twenty six ninety nine, the retail price, but they had a sale with forty percent of all kits. So I got it for worked out sixteen dollars and nineteen cents. Um, even if there is no sale, they, you can always go on just go to Hobby Lobby website on your cell phone and you pulls up a coupon and you get forty percent off one item. So you can always buy a kit for forty percent off no matter what Hobby Lobby if you're in the US. So let's take all this plastic off. I'm excited to see inside this box. This, it looks, these clear parts look terrible off the bat, but I think it's just because this plastic is very kind of thick and, and not quite clear. So we'll look at that in a minute. Um, bag of plastic. Here's the, um, we're gonna look at this more detail in a minute because it comes with springs, real springs, some screws. Some more parts. You got your five tires. Um, we'll again look at all this stuff in a minute. And the instructions and decals. I'm going to straight for the decals because I'm just curious. It does. And it does. Look at that. That's lifeguard decals. But I'm, I'm seeing there's a typo on here. See, lifeguard? It's spelt wrong on those two. I wonder if they have a... Um, one of you email and one of you have a corrected set. Um, lifeguard, yeah, spelt wrong there too. But it does have the lifeguard decals, but spelt wrong. So, mm, beach patrol spelt correctly. Well, there's the decals at least. Um, yeah, there it is, your normal Rubicon. And there's your Baywatch one. And look, he's even spelt guard wrong in instructions as well. Huh. That's something I'll look into. I, I would kind of dig doing a, a Baywatch one. I might, So I guess there's two options. I'll reach out to Ravel and see if they have a corrected set to send, or you can just go online, eBay or somewhere, I'm sure somebody does a corrected set. Um, so nice thing here has the parts um, for the car guys. It tells you exactly what each part is, like, you know, snorkel or shifter or whatever. Two pages of that. So all, every single part is actually labeled what it is. Um, yeah. Mirrors, headlights, tail light, metal axle, radiator, all that kind of stuff. So, looks like you start with the chassis. This one doesn't have an engine, I don't believe. So, exhaust system. And working suspension with real springs. Saying that the wheels now, but I'm sure that's the last thing you probably do. Um, seats. It's nice the seats are actually separate. Some of these kits, AMT kits for sure, come with like molded seats, which is a real pain to paint. Very nice instructions, very clear, just a couple of parts, you know, showing you which section. So number 10, we're adding the um, start building up the chassis, the sides, dashboard. 
Um, we'll look at those decals one more time. I'm pretty sure I had like decals for the dashboard. We'll build up the internals. Then that's the um, kind of roll bar, roll cage. Adding that to the chassis, to the frame. Lights and windows. And adding the shell. It's looking really nice on there actually with the, the wheels. It has a really nice kind of look. Um, a few little bits and bobs. Snorkel. Trim. Rear bumper. And the spare tire at the back. Um, again, a few little bits and bobs here. Front bumper and some windshield wipers. And then again, back to this. So you've got the normal civilian Rubicon, per se. And then you've got your lifeguard one. That's really kind of catching my eye, the lifeguard one. Just not sure about spelling, though, what's going on with that. But anyway. So let's look at the decals one more time. Um, yeah, so you've got the dashboard right here. Arizona and California plates. I'm assuming if you go with um, the lifeguard, you obviously want the California ones. Okay, not too much there, but okay. And where should we start? Let's start with the shell, the body. So we've got a couple of metal shooting the axles um, and we got the springs real springs and here's the sh shell top doesn't look too bad I mean there's all these giant holes all over it like huge holes for um, I guess putting trim and stuff on so huge attachment points but obviously that should be covered up The, um, the visors built into. Okay. Hmm. Seems very thick, like around here. I don't know if that's to scale or not. Um, just seems a lot chunky. But again, that's the size of the guy. Here's the kind of lower part. Molded in center console. Looks pretty good. Again, huge attachment points for all that. You know, I'm not used to these, some of these American car kits, I know they have huge points attached stuff to. I'm used to using, you know, like especially that 70 second scale kit I was working on, it's so much finesse and stuff. And you see this, it's a little bit chunky, but again, hopefully that stuff's gonna be covered up. You're not gonna see any of that. A lot of plastic in this. This box is absolutely packed with plastic. flash on the bottom here nothing major again you can see how big those pieces are to attach it here's your center console actually looks pretty good I'm not sure exactly what that is some of your trim Generally pretty good. Not this is obviously not Tamiya quality plastic, but it's you know it's okay. Here's your door cards inside of the inside. Steering wheel, a little bit softy molded, but it's gonna be okay. Injection pin wise, there's a few on the back, uh, not terrible. I mean, actually pretty, seem pretty flush, so no real problems there. So your exhaust, shifter, that's your transmission I guess, seats, a little bit of detail, these are your backs of your seats I'm guessing, 
Okay, next up, clear parts. They look absolutely terrible on his bag, but I'm hoping just again it's just the, the plastic in the bag. Actually not bad at all. So that's the um yeah, this is this plastic is so dull looking. See, it just makes everything look terrible. I have to just drop part two, so um yeah, so no problem at all, lights um look fine windscreen obviously there's no windows on the side and this is all open there's no hard top on it but yeah yeah actually see no problem at all with that one let's get a little bit by the bag um zax tires pretty good nice tread no manufacturer's markings on it but that's cool Not much chrome parts on this one. I'll tear this bag open. So your rims. Very kind of crudely done. Um, they seem a little kind of chunky in the plastic and stuff. Again, I think it's just the way it is. Once these are primed and painted metallic or whatever color you go with, um, I think black might look good with um, yellow too. Yellow body, but... Um, I think they'll be okay. Not the best I've ever seen, but there's a little bit of detail. Here's the metallic, just the um, belly and just a couple of mirrors, which seem fine. Nice and shiny. Um, the side mirrors and the, the rear view mirror. You got this is the back of the lights, I guess, which would be fine. And a couple of surrounds. So I think. This is so limited, I think this will be fine. Um, I don't think you really need to paint this. I think it'll be fine the way it is. Um, well, maybe the back of the mirror for sure, but um, yeah, it's okay, I think. Okay, okay, and then one more bag, which is going to be the chassis. pin marks or any problems like that it's a little softly molded I'm not sure if that is um, I think it's probably flash in between there where my finger is this is the front grille windscreen wipers mirrors that's a snorkel A bit flash here on the side of the top of the snorkel. This is your frame roll cage. Tons of little bits to clean up there, so you got all this stuff to cut off unnecessarily and clean it all up. I think it'll be fine once it's cleaned. And then finally the this guy, a frame. One piece more you have to paint it. Um, do, do prefer this separately, but it is molded in um, nevertheless. Um, and that is it. So, huh. Interesting. So, it's only $16, so I can't be too too complaining about this. It's certainly not Tamiya in terms of plastic. I've, I've seen it build up. I think they build up okay. Seems a little bit soft, but I think once you know, clean this thing up, um, got rid of any kind of. Seeing if there's any mold lines in here, it actually looks pretty good. Um, but I think once you clean all this up, get all the parts cleaned up, that's probably the first thing, just get all the parts off and just cleaned, um, and you should be good to go. It's a little puzzling how they got through quality assurance in terms of the instructions and decals to get that lifeguard spelt wrong, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so I'm definitely going to try to reach out to them at least and see if I can get a replacement, if they have a replacement set. If not, I'll go on eBay, because I think lifeguard is probably maybe the way to go with this kit. I think it'll look really cool, especially with a kind of like a little bit simple, like beachy kind of boardwalk kind of base. Um, yeah, so that's it. So this is a quick inboxing look at the Rebels Jeep Wrangler Rubicon in 25th scale.